615 KCMMA and Team Highestown, we're back. Today's video is going to be basics and sword work as promised. Uh, if you don't have a sword floating around, which most of us don't, except for Sensei or Jake from the last class, uh, all you need is a magazine, roll it up, put two pieces of uh, rubber bands around the end or two pieces of tape, and you got your own little play sword. We're going to show you how to do some basic techniques and apply them to the sword work. So you realize all karate is and how it developed to a weapon is an extension of your body. All right, real quick, we had three winners so far. Uh, Patrick, Chase, and Kaylee. Yeah, he's whispering to me who it was. And Lucas drew them all, not me. So congratulations to those winners. You'll be getting prizes hopefully Wednesday. I wanna hit your parents up tomorrow to figure out what time we can drop these off and figure out where you live in the boondocks or wherever you are. Um, also, uh, don't, hopefully, if you guys don't know yet, I've been mentioning it so far, uh, July 1st. July 1st, we're hoping to open back up in the uh, section four of this phase, phase four. And uh, hopefully we'll be back rocking and rolling. That is a Wednesday, so there's no junior classes on Wednesday, but uh, Thursday, you'll have a junior class. So don't miss out on it. And then also, uh, we're having uh, day camps in July late July and early August, so don't miss out. Lucas is gonna take over for the first part of the class. All right, so we're gonna start off warm-ups and then some basic techniques that you can do with a sword. And chi, you're right. Budadashi, let's do 25 jumping jabs. And go, ichi, ni, san, shi, go, ruku, sishi, anshi, ku, ju, juichi, juni, jisan, jushi, Go, Juruku, Jusishi, Juashi, Juku, Niju, Nijuichi, Nijuni, Nijusan, Nijushi, Nijugo. All right, next one. Instead of push ups, we're just going to do plank up, plank down. So you're going to start with your hands up, down, and back up. That's one. We'll do five. Five. All right, so start up and down and up. That's one. Two. Three. Four, five. All right, next what we'll do, we'll do some leg pushes. Leg pushes, we'll do 25. And ichi, ni, san, shi, go, ruku, sishi, ashi, ku, ju, juichi, juni, jisan, jushi, jugo, juruku, jusishi, juashi, juku, niju, nijuichi, nijuni, nijusan, Need you she? Need you go? All right. Next one. What we'll do? Launches. We're gonna go for thirty. Or we'll do thirty launches. And go. Ichi. Ni. San. She. Go. Ruku. Sishi. Ashi. Ku. Ju. Juichi. Juni. Jusan. Jushi. Jugo. Juruku. Jusishi. Juashi. Juku. Need you. All right, next one, we'll do some kayakers. We'll do 30 touches. All right, so count one every feet in the air, hands together, touch each And go. Ichi, ni, san, shi, go, ruku, ichi, ashi, ku, ju, juichi, ni, jusan, jushi, jugo. All right, we'll do mountain climbers. Do those for 30 seconds and go. Halfway there. it up with squat thrust jump kicks. We'll do 10 of those, 10 of them. Ichi. Ni. San. Shi. Go. Ruku. Sishi. Ashi. And 
you. All right, good enough. Let's roll out our arms. All other way. Hand over your head, stretch towards the tree. And other side. Hands on your belt, roll out your neck. Other way. Take a seat, one leg out, one leg in, touch your toes. And we'll do a 10 count. Go. Ichi, Mi, San, Shi, Go, Ruku, Sishi, Ashi, Ku, Ju. Switch legs. And 10 count. Go. Ichi, Mi, San, Shi, Go. Ruku, Sishi, Ashi, Ku, Ju. Legs out straight. And ten count. Go. Ichi, Ni, San, Shi, Go. Ruku, Sishi, Ashi, Ku, Ju. And last stretch, butterfly. And ten count. Go. Ichi, Ni, San, Shi, Go, Ruku, Sishi, Ashi, Ku, Ju. All right, stand up. All right, we'll start off with some kicks. Right leg back, left leg forward. Front kick, McGarry. And kick. 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 Gary Kiage and kick. 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 And switch. Front snap it. Gary Kiage and kick. 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 All right. Now we'll do some of the techniques that you can do with a sword. Let's start off in a horse stance. Keep it ashi. We're going to do high blocks. High block is age. Uki. Just push your hand up like this. And block. 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 Some punches. Punch is Suki. And punch. 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 All right, next one. Now we're going to go to a front stance. Front stance is Zen Katsu Dashi. Bend your front leg. Back leg stays straight. We're going to just do a down block. So for a down block, take your right hand, reach up to your left ear and block in front. And then left hand, reach up to your right ear and down in front, all right? So I'm gonna say block and just switch hands. And block, 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 block. All right, next one we're gonna do is a cross body block. So you're gonna take your right hand, Reach to your left hip and pull it across. And then your left hand, reach to your right hip and pull it across. All right? Let's try that. And block. 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 
Block. Block. Block. Block. Block. Block. Block. Block. Block. All right, and the last technique we're going to do is just a good downward chop. It's just like in Mitsu when we do high block, cross body block, kick, chop, hi -yi. All right, so every time I say chop, you're just going to switch hands. And chop. 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 All right, now, all the, atta all the attacks and techniques I just showed you, I did stationary. But all of those, you can do moving too. You can do punches, stepping forward. You can do high blocks, stepping forward. You can do cross body blocks, moving forward, down blocks, and chops, all that stuff. Now, I'm gonna turn you over to Sensei for sword work. Woo. All right, sword work, sword work. Everything you just learned, if you practice all those moves, it'll go quickly with the swords. Okay, if you don't happen to have a sword with most, but if you don't, that's okay. You can have a magazine. Roll it up, put some rubber bands around it, or just tape it, your choice, okay? So you have some neat ideas on how to make this, it's really simple. I'm gonna start with the sword, then I'll go back to that. Earlier we did a high block. So, here's the high block with the sword. Okay, so again, high block. High block with the sword. Nice. Okay, so don't forget that. Now, using your little maid sword, your sword, the magazine rolled up with two rubber bands, or a magazine, just hold onto it. Or a newspaper, anything. You gotta have something laying around that you can roll up. So, I step. I block and knock the sword over behind me. <laughs> All right. So watch again. You're gonna see. Well, both hands are up. So that's it. We'll put the hand down. Look at it. Lose the sword. It is a high block at an angle. See how easy that is? Just think about that. So easy. It's the same move, but we have to have both hands on there because it's a sword. Okay. You don't overthink it. Just go with what we're telling you to do, and you'll hit those. Okay. So I'm going to the other side this time. High block. The only thing I did different here. I switch my hands. Okay, there's the high block. Watch, I lose the sword. There's the high block. Okay, I'll get a little closer to see a little better. So, high block. I switch my hands. High block. I'm just stepping at an angle. I could do it straight ahead. I could do it backwards. Okay. So don't forget that. So there's your high block. Next one you did was a down block. Okay. You learned a down block. So watch the sword. Down block. I switch my hands. Down block, down block. I don't have to even switch. If I don't want to switch my hands, I don't have to switch my hands on this one. I can keep it the same. So there's my down block, down block. There's the sword. Okay, that's simple. I'm gonna do it with the real sword to get a little better feel for it. Okay, so it's up like this. Remember, there's my down block. Up, watch the hand. I did exaggeration of the motion, so I go a little lower and down. Down block. If I move that sword, look, there's the down block. I do it again here. Stop, move the sword, there's my down block. Alright? So we're gonna put those two together. High block. Down block. Okay, watch. Do the other side. High block. Down block. Nice. Again. High block. Down block. High block. Down block. Now I'm gonna use my little homemade sword. We're going to get out of that ball off again. Slide down the wall on my sword. 50-50. Eh, so here it is. High block, down block. High block, down block. All right, next move. Remember our downward knife hand strike. Downward knife hand strike. So down block, come over. Downward knife hand strike. But it's a sword now. So high block, down block, move forward. Downward knife hand strike. I'm going to do the other side. From going too fast, what's cool about videos, if you're missing it on live, go back and watch it as soon as I hit record and put it on there live. You'll be able to go back and watch it, slow it down, check out the moves. If you hear any weird clicky noises, Lucas is probably back there by the camera. No, he's probably playing with the camera. you got to watch it. You never know with him. He said no. <laughs> Lucas is also our cameraman today. 
get. Go again. Boom. Chop. Down. And then you did what? A punch earlier. Punch. Thrust. Just kind of using the ones you did. So I'm going to use a real sword on this side. Just to mix it up a little bit. So one, two, three, four. Okay. Pretty simple. But again, don't overthink it. Think about the moves you know. If I was to lose this completely, completely, and just go all 50-50, all right, I would go high block, down block, Jesus Shuto Uchi, punch. I remove the hand, they punch. So back to the sword one more time, and then back to your sword. So if I did the other side this time, high block, down block, downward knife and strike. Punching thrust. Now I'm going to do it with a fun little sword that you made. Or I made. With your magazine. Roll it up after you read it. Don't just grab a magazine. Make sure you get the right one. And then you ask your parents before you destroy something. <laughs> also, if you don't have room, I'm going to do this one with a magazine with no movement. So I'm going to get closer. I'm going to just rotate. I'm not going to actually step forward hardly at all. That way, if you have a, a restriction on space, no excuse. There's always a way to do martial arts. Always. Even if you injure their stuff, you can still do. I don't know how many kids have come into class that's had a broken arm and still did class. And they didn't break their arm doing karate. They did it during soccer. I think we had like five kids over the last five years break an arm during soccer. I'm not going to mention any of them, Hayden. Uh, <laughs> I think you did that hanging from monkey bars, I think, Hayden. Well, there was a few other kids that broke arms. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. Lucas is telling me names I shouldn't use. Okay. So, but you get the idea. So, there's your high block. I'm not going to move, I'm just going to rotate. Down. The downward knife hand strike. Thrust forward. See, all those moves are right there. Now, another one you did too was a cross body block. Cross body block. This is usually when you put your knife back and you can step back and do an upward strike. Okay, that's your cross body block. That motion coming from the sheath of the sword and move. I could also step forward and do it. I could just stand still and do it. So I'm going to put a sword in my hand so you can see the visual effect a little better. Not miss out on that. So if I have my sword back here in my sheath and I want to move forward, I can just come up and there's my cross body block. Or I can step back and do it. Or if it's on the other side, not a problem either. Okay? Not a problem. I can just step back and cut up. And that cut is the same motion across my body. I can move forward. So now we're going to put all those moves together. And it's going to be fast. Don't worry about it. You can go back and watch this over and over and over. And we're also going to do it again Wednesday. Basics and sword work. So don't miss out on this. July 1st, we should be open again, people. So don't miss out. Come on, July 1st. So first move, I'm going to do both sides. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Okay. So again, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Go crazy. That was just two down blocks. That's all I did. It looked cool, right? Yeah, just two down blocks. You already know a lot of these moves. You don't even know you know it. This is one of my favorite cuts, believe it or not. The cross body one. You guys may hate this. Whenever we do live swords, as you get older here, sometimes you get to play live swords during the summer, outside we cut full moves. And we use a real sword. And we pull it right from the sheath, and we do an upward cut, just like that. And it's your cross body block, because you've done it so many years in all these cuts. And everybody loves to do that cut. They think, oh, I can't do it, Sensei. I want to do this one, or I want to do this one. Because they think that's the strongest in their mind. But when they go to cut, it's so awesome that they go, Wow, that's the strongest one because they've done so many cross body blocks. It's in almost every kata. So don't forget that. Uh, great to see everybody. We'll hopefully see you July 1st. I'm going to be open unless they say no, which I hope not because we're right on focus for phase three. We're in phase four, I think, I believe. All right, great job, everyone. Make sure to get in the next contest. You just got to say, hey, I'm here. You know, this is uh, Adam here. Hey, this is Lucas here. Hey, this is Max. Hey, this is Neil. Hey, this is Willa. Post it on and you get a chance possibly to win a prize. All right? Cheat. Great.
Ciao, Matteo, everybody.